So we're going to get started by going over how to sort of just make a placeholder piece of millwork that we're going to then add additional details to and ultimately detail in a variety of elevation and section views and plan view. So first, uh, I'm just going to you know, make a couple of walls for the sake of project just to kind of give this whole thing some context here. And so they go up to 20 feet, that's fine. So we got the wall. So there's really two ways to go about making a piece of placeholder componentry, like a piece of miller. The first one is to model it in place, and the second one is to place a component. Um, so placing a component is something you're going to load in. A model in place is going to be sort of in the model itself. Uh, it's really going to depend on how integrated into the model this thing is going to be. Uh, so something like a bar probably gets modeled in place. Maybe something like a simple host stand or something gets placed. So we're going to go over both. So let's just do the model in place one first. So it's going to ask you what kind of category it should be in. In this case, we want to do casework. There is no real millwork section in here, so it's all going to be casework. And we're going to call this bar. Okay, and so now it's going to give us this variety of modeling tools. We're going to create an extrusion, and the extrusion is going to start at this first floor reference level at zero feet offset. It's going to end at three feet, right? And so let's just create uh, kind of a bar. Do two feet here, come back, and I don't know, something like that. Make that two feet. Okay. And we're going to finish that. So then if we go to 3D view, so the other thing to keep in mind here is I just finished this extrusion. Now I'm not yet done with this family itself, I'm still in the editor, right? So I can go back to create here and create another extrusion. So let's say this is a good chance to just show something else, right? So let's say I wanted to make sort of a, a top to this bar, right? I'll make another extrusion. I'm going to start the extrusion at 3 feet. I'm going to end it at 3 feet 2 inches. And I'm going to draw the lines just out about 6 inches past, right, to make a little lip to the bar. Okay. And I'll make it flush at the back. Sure. Trim that up there. With TR is the hotkey for trim and extend. And I just did AL for align. Align that there. DI is the hotkey for dimension, so we can do that to make sure we have the right thing. We do zero space six. Go in here and do zero space six. So there we go. We've got that. Kind of like what that looks like. We'll have to bring this wall out. So we'll finish that. Now we can't see what we just did because our view range. If we do VR for view range. You can see it's going to end at three feet. So if we move this, the top of it, up to five, and hit apply and OK, it should come through. We might have to just finish this model first. So let me just finish this model, and let's see what we get. If we go in here, we can see here we've got one sort of object, right? But if we go to edit in place, we actually have two different extrusions, one and two. Right? So let's just finish that. So here we go. We have a sort of placeholder bar now. The other option we can do, if we're going to create something that worried less about how this, you know, where it exists kind of in space, maybe just a piece of loose furniture or something, we can do File, don't click on New, hover over New, and then click Family. And then it's going to open up these templates. Go in here to Case Right, I want to make this a case work. And so it's going to give you these reference planes and everything. So you can use them, you can not use them. We'll go over making parametric families in the future. But for now, let's just kind of do the same thing. And we're just going to make a simple box. Right? So we're just going to make it like, it doesn't really matter what size it is. We're going to start at zero feet, and we're going to go up to three feet. Right? We're going to finish that. There we go. So now we have this family here. Right. We're going to load this into our project, and this one right here, and do OK. Right. 
So now this is floating around. Throw it over here. And if I go into 3D view, I have these two different things. So those are really the two different ways. Now, if we click on this, it will it gives you the edit in place option. And we hit this, and it will say edit family. So if we change this, we're going to be editing it in the project environment. Okay, so that, if I hit this and I hit edit family, it's going to kick me over to this family editor, which has its own 3D environment and everything. It looks very similar, but ultimately it's outside of the project. If I head back over here, oh boy, sorry. Oh, let's go to this one. There we are. So that's what that looks like. And yeah, so you're going to create both of those just to review. Architecture tab, component pull down, and then either place a component or model in place. Let's say I wanted to place this component again. Hit this pull down to hit place component, or I can use the hotkey CM. And then it will give me this pull down. I didn't really name it. You can see it's just named something weird, and I can place it anywhere I'd like. Now, if I go in here to families, and I come down to casework, hit plus. You can see here I have two different things, right? So this is the bar, right? And then this is family 23. Now, if I wanted to just rename this, call this host stand, now it's going to be a little cleaner. Now it still has a type inside of it. So if we kind of edit that type, we rename the type, we'll call it host stand. That will kind of clean up this project browser here and make it look a little prettier. So we can have multiple types within this host stand family. But for now, it's just a bar.